What's up everyone? Be the installer here with Jen. Just it's Jen. You're just plain, just plain Jen. Jen. We're here. Exciting video. I am absolutely thrilled to show you guys the new product from Netgear, the Netgear Orbi 970 series Wi-Fi 7 quad band mesh system. Basically, long story short, really fast, high speed, expansive internet system. And we're gonna talk all about it, including giving you guys a test run of how far this thing can reach outside, how fast it can go, how many devices, all that, looking forward to it. Yeah, I am so excited about this because I need my bandwidth. I'm on Zoom all day. We've got the kids on their games, got Brandon doing who knows what. I need a nice strong stream. So I'm gonna help you with that, Jen, because this is the fastest, most powerful Wi-Fi system ever with speeds of up to 27 gigabytes per second. It has enhanced dedicated backhaul, which I'll explain in a minute, and 360 coverage, which gives you extraordinary power of Wi-Fi 7 across every corner of your home. And when looking at this actual product, I mean, it is really big. There are three gigantic Orbi units, and it was basically the three units, the three power cords, and then they have an Ethernet plug in there, and some instructions, of course. But there was one thing that I think you'd be a little upset about. There was nice plastic on no. each side of these units. So I got to peel off nine pieces of wonderful Rude. plastic. Hey, you weren't around. What am I supposed to do? But really the point was, is we want to get this thing out of the box and out in the house here so that we can test it outside. Because the important thing is, is that I need to be able to connect to the internet while I'm playing basketball outside. Is that not <laughs> the main thing in life? Sure. Forget all my work that I do. That doesn't matter. Uh, but you basketball out in the cul-de-sac. I, I yeah, kind of forgot got that you. you work from home. I bet. I'm just joking. Now, setup was also pretty straightforward. You just download the Orbi app. I mean, you do have to disconnect the internet, so I wanted to make sure you were done with your Zooms before I did that. Thank you. <laughs> and then disconnect your internet, plug it back in, get all the Orbeez plugged in, and I actually like to do that in a smaller confined area because if you have any issues or you have to disconnect one and reconnect it, you don't want them spread around your house. I mean, it does say put them throughout your house, then do it, but for me as an installer, it's always been easier just to put all three of them right next to you, turn it on, set it up, change your name of the Wi-Fi, change the password, get all that stuff done, and then it'll do some updates and give you new firmware to make sure everything's up to date. And then once it's good and everything's set, then there is a prompt to say, okay, go and put them throughout your house and set them up to see what kind of setup you're gonna have. Are you gonna have the one main router connected to both of the other satellites individually? Or are you gonna have them in sequence where one connects to the second, connects to the third? So it'll determine that based on your house layout. So really straightforward process. Now remember, if you have a blue light on the bottom of the Orbi, it's ready to be set up. If it's white or there's no light, it is set up. If it has purple, that's a bad sign. That means your internet's out, which yeah, is not a fun one. one. We've had that before. And if it is orange, typically that means it's too far from the other router, so you have to move it a little closer. Probably not gonna happen very often with this giant Orbi 970. So before we talk about how I can get out that far with internet coverage, let's just talk about speed first of all. Okay. So when we set up the new Netgear 970, it was extremely fast. We did some speed test comparisons and we were getting about 2x the speed on this system that we got on our old system. And the old system is fantastic. It's a good Netgear Orbi that we had gotten for our other house that was a little bit smaller and we were pretty much good in this house as well. But that was getting about 500 megs per second download speed where this new one was getting double that at almost one gig per second. Now you may not see a difference in speed when you're close to your you know, system because it does depend on your internet provider. So you know, we can only get so fast of internet from the provider, but it's a totally different thing when you're talking about how expansive that system can be and how many devices you can use on that and kind of the consistency, the lag, all those things. And why is that important? Let's take a trip down memory lane where everyone can imagine back in the day, you basically just had hardline internet. Okay, that was really a long time ago. But eventually we got the combo router modem from your cable company and that gave you the ability to connect Wi-Fi. And we're like, ooh, Wi-Fi. But you basically had to be sitting right next to that router or you had to be connected with a landline, hardline, whatever, in order to do something like gaming or have your computer connected, right? So that was a long time ago. Now, over the years, they've gotten better, and these companies that provide the cable give you a solid router, but it only typically works well still in a smaller area of your house. So a lot of times people have them like in their closet where all those lines are, and then it's basically your walk-in closet is covered fantastically, and maybe your bedroom but nowhere else in the house. Does this sound familiar, by the way? Do you think your parents could use something like this? 
I knew you were gonna bring that up. Yeah. I mean, her parents on the first floor, internet works great. Upstairs by the bedrooms, not so much. Downstairs by the home theater, not so much. So as years have gone by, people started getting larger routers. Like for example, the Netgear Nighthawk, fantastic router, especially for gaming, has a bunch of antennas. It covers a pretty wide area as well, but a lot of gamers would still be connected to that with a hard line because you get the fastest speed, the lowest latency, all these things. And so even adding extenders to your house, whether it be an extender off of something like that, or if you connect one of those little plugs you plug into the electrical system, and it uses your electrical system to send signal over to another room. I mean, they've tried to help, but realistically, now you have two different networks you have to set up to. And when you go from one to the other, you lose signal. And when you get into that other room, you get slower. So a lot of problems over the years, but that's where mesh Wi-Fi systems come into place because now you have multiple nodes throughout your house that connect wirelessly. So having a fully wireless system in a bigger home is fantastic. And I can't tell you how beneficial it is to have these devices throughout your house to provide the speed, the distance, and to have that expansive internet system, period. So let's talk about this 970 from Orbi and max speed and dedicated backhaul system. Please, because that is the only kind of speed I want. <laughs> okay, so as I stated before, this Orbi has a max speed of 27 gigs per second in download. Yeah. That is really fast. Now this is 2.4 times faster than Wi-Fi 6, which is already incredibly fast. And this quad band technology comes with that enhanced dedicated backhaul, which ensures that your Wi-Fi is not gonna get lost in translation. So let me explain this really quickly. A lot of other mesh systems will send and receive information on the same frequency, but this Netgear Orbi actually has a dedicated backhaul channel. So when you send information from your computer and your Zoom up to the old interweb, it's not gonna be competing with the download. So it's on different frequencies. So if you're the furthest distance away from your Wi-Fi system, the information may have to go from one of the Orbi routers to the next, to the next, all the way back, and then up, and then all the way back to you to get information. So the ability for that to happen extremely fast is really important, especially if you have a large home, if you have a lot of devices, and if there's like walls that are like brick in your way, there's all kinds of variables that come into play with this. And getting like your typical like average or basic Wi-Fi system just doesn't cut it, especially if you're talking about large homes. And that's really exciting to me because this, this house is great for us, but we're looking to upgrade and buy a house. And so I wanna really max out that full 10,000 square feet that this can supply. 10,000 square foot house, <laughs> wow. Yeah, I mean, hey, there's something to shoot for for everybody. <laughs> that's right. And it's crazy to think it says up to 200 devices and everybody might be like, there's no way you need 200 devices. But if you start thinking about yeah. all the stuff that we have in this house, I mean, we just, computers, right? Yeah, we've got the computers, we've got phones, we've got all of the gaming devices, like that all the boys are playing on it all the times. And friends that come over, right? Yeah. And then you have like security systems, doorbells, there's lights, lights throughout yeah. the house. And the thing is, is that sometimes it's difficult to get them all to connect to one system. Mm -hmm. Cause you're talking about security systems that are on the edge of your property, right? So yeah. when they say up to 10,000 square feet, I mean, it's good to get something that can cover most of your property with that size because you don't want your doorbell having a hard time connecting to your Wi-Fi. So that's why it's important to have the speed and the size. Now, the most important feature that the Netgear 970 system provides is that expansiveness. Now, I really wanna go outside and give people a demo of how this works, but first, let me just tell you, we have a Netgear Orbi system in here. It works fairly good, right? For the most part, yeah. as long as there's not too many people on game systems. Right. Which again, right. is a more of an internet provider problem, not the Netgear problem, but, we can actually move the three of these Orbeez further apart than we used to be able to with the traditional system or traditional mesh system because they would only be able to go maybe 20 or 30 or 40 feet. Now we can put them 50, 60, 70 feet apart, making like what we have is like a triangle of internet even more expansive. Now it's a big triangle. A triangle of power. There you go. That's a good <laughs> keyword. I That's like it. That's why I'm here. <laughs> and then your internet is better in the house. It's faster. It's more expansive. The gaming will work out there. Your Zoom's up there. Me messing around, watching a football game over here. But now outside and further down the road, all of our neighbors can use our internet too, right? Oh, great. <laughs> no, but seriously, it's given an example of what it would be if your house is larger. So let's go out and give an example and I'll show you guys what I mean by this. To the cul-de-sac. All right, so now we're out here where the boys and I typically play basketball. And 
We want to get internet out here too. I mean, this is not going to be indicative of what everyone has, but people with large homes have large properties and you might be by your pool in the backyard. You might be wandering in the woods, but you know, to get internet out here is key because a lot of times I'll be walking out from the house, coming over here, I lose internet. It's not connecting to the cell or the Wi-Fi, and I'm unable to get internet to actually work. So now with this Wi-Fi system, the 970, I'm able to go all the way over here and test the speeds to see if we can get similar speeds to what we would get inside. So I'm gonna go ahead and do a speed test and show you guys what I get. So for upload speeds, we're actually able to get 120 megs per second. That is pretty impressive standing 150 feet away from the next satellite. And for download, it's actually 960 megs per second. So we're actually talking about a gigabyte per second download speed from way out here, which is pretty awesome. So this is just something that I wasn't able to do before, especially when we were watching a movie out here with the neighbor kids. We even had to put one of the other mesh Wi-Fi systems on one of the garbage cans halfway to this distance just to get the internet to work out here. So clearly it's working much better. Watch a movie, watch a YouTube video on my phone while other people are shooting or hanging out of here or just chilling out in the sun. It's gonna give you a lot more range and a lot more speed. And so there you have it. A slam dunk, just like the Orbi 970 series. I, yes, this is nine feet. I had to lower it because I can't dunk on a 10 foot. Don't blame me. There were no shots missed in the making of this video either. Wow, well good for you, Brandon. You were out there playing with your drone. You get to go out there and play basketball while you're listening to music. Mm -hmm. You can watch a football game and you can pull the big screen out and watch a movie while you're doing all of that. You gotta, you gotta dream, Jen. Yeah, right. <laughs> all while you're still in here on your Zoom calls. While well, I'm slaving away. I won't be impacting you. It'll be perfect. Yeah. <laughs> now, if you're a more traditional internet user and you still wanna hardline things, this system can do that too. I actually installed an Orbi system like this in a huge house. And because it was so far apart, they actually hardlined each Orbi to each other so that we had consistent internet over the whole house. I think this system would have done the trick for them too, just on Wi-Fi, because you know, we're at that point where if you're able to go 27 gigs per second download Wi-Fi 7, that's fantastic. 10,000 square feet, up to 200 devices. I mean, it's really awesome, whether it is hardline, whether it's Wi-Fi, whether you have four of us in a smaller house or eventually a larger house, I think this thing's gonna be awesome for a lot of people. Well, I think it's settled. It's the best Wi-Fi system ever. The Orbi 970 series Wi-Fi mesh system is incredible. Quad band enhanced backhaul covers 10,000 square feet, up to 200 devices simultaneously, making it the perfect solution for large homes and connected families. Well, I think you just covered all the features right there. Of course. Well, that's all there is then. So definitely check out the links in the description below where you can check out the 970 mesh Wi-Fi system or any Netgear awesome products. So many good products that Netgear makes. And let us know if you have any questions down in the comments. We'll definitely answer them for you. And smash the like button, subscribe to the channel and all that. And I want to thank Netgear for sending this awesome system yes, over to us. We're so you. thankful. And we'll see you guys in the next video. Bye. Oh my gosh, don't put those on. Nope. <laughs>